Hi guys. I just looked up and it was 11 o'clock and I had to call Pepe in. He was outside. It's been raining a little bit here so um, he was a little bit dirty. So I just uh, finished kind of cleaning him up here. So um, anyway, good morning to everybody. And um, I have a really nice recipe for you guys today that I'm super excited about. Um, I'm always kind of thinking like, what can I make? What can I change? Like, what is familiar to people that they may like? And so one of the things that we love the most is um, chicken parmesan. It is, this is of course the cupboard. It is one of the things that people love the most at the restaurant. Go ahead, take your care. They love it the most. It is so ordered, you know. So I started thinking, um, how can we, how can we make it a little bit different? So I make chicken meatballs, and we're gonna parmesan them. So it's gonna be really good. We're gonna make a meatball. We're gonna put some ricotta cheese in it, which is gonna make it light and fluffy. And then we bake them in the oven with some fresh mozzarella on them and um, they come out fantastic. So I tried them yesterday, and then to even make it better here, here's another one, Pepe. We're gonna, we're gonna put it over polenta. And if you don't know what polenta is, polenta is a really, really fine cornmeal. And for people in the South, it's like almost like fritz. So we're going to be um, putting the chicken parmesan meatballs over top of the polenta. And I'm also gonna show you today how to make the polenta. So, hi guys, how are you this morning? Okay, so one little thing I wanted to show you before we actually got started on the recipe, because you guys know I'm like an avid coffee lover and I'm right here in front of the coffee maker so it's easy for me to make a cup right now. But um, I'm a plain coffee drinker. I just, um, I'm like, you don't even take me to a coffee shop because I get plain coffee with um, cream in it and that's it. But now that, like, I don't know, I had um, some type of brown sugar coffee the other day. Um, I don't know what it was, but it was really, really good. So I came home, and in this little shaker here, I have, um, it is a brown sugar diluted like a sugar water. And um, I put in a little bit of cinnamon and my half and half, and I seriously just shook it like this. And I poured in my coffee, and it's now the best coffee I've ever had. Now I'm like addicted to it. So um, I'm going to show you. So brown sugar in a little bit of water. So you make the simple syrup, a little bit of cinnamon, and the half and half, or even heavy cream. But we'll try to keep it down to not so fatty. So I'm going to show you how that turns out. Um, back here, I have the pot going for um, our polenta. So I'm going to show you how to make that. So here, you might see a little bit of steam coming up. I've got um, sausage and lentil soup on the stove already, and that's for the restaurant later. And I thought to myself, how cool would it be to start off September with soups? I mean, it's the fall season. We're all getting into that uh, mindset. I know me from living up north my whole life just about that you know, once September kicks in, even the end of August almost, like I am ready for sweaters, I'm ready for the mountains, I'm ready for the leaves, ready for fall food. So we're in September, we're going to do a whole series of different soups. And um, of course, you know, I'll be sharing the recipes. So these are ones that you can just keep and you can make all winter long. So I'm looking forward to that in September. And I see so many people this morning and I just wanna say hello to everybody. Um, I'm on my own today. I don't have my husband. I don't have my daughter. But you know what? I'm set up and I'm ready to go. Okay, so my coffee is done. How wonderful is a Keurig? I mean, seriously. My husband's so old-fashioned. He's got to have the pot of coffee. But he's sleeping right now. So this is good for me. Okay, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of my homemade creamer in here. And I can't wait to try it. It is so delicious. The brown sugar and the cinnamon is so good, guys. It's delish. I drink about four cups a day. That keeps me going. Okay, in a bowl. Here we go. We got our bowl ready. And in it, we're just going to put a pound of ground chicken. So the ingredients that we have out today and that we're going to be using are basically right out of your refrigerator. I try to keep it as simple as I can for you guys. So this is ground chicken. 
I don't normally have this because I don't use this much, but I'm going to just put it in my bowl and I'm just gonna break it up just a little bit. I do always have ground turkey in the refrigerator, however, because I make my dog's food. Yes, she's very spoiled. She's old, she's a million allergies. Okay, ground chicken in the bowl. Then we're going to put in our ricotta cheese. And I always like to keep things in the container to show you, you know, I don't have anything special. I have the same stuff that you buy in the grocery store. So I'm just gonna put in our ricotta cheese. And I know, I mean, I have all the measurements. That's a pound of chicken. And this is about a half of a cup of uh, ricotta cheese. And I add the ricotta because I said, ground chicken is just so plain. Like you have to add a million things to it. Hello, John, are you supposed to be working? <laughs> um, so I added the ricotta because this makes them very, very light. And we're gonna add some flavor because ground chicken is very um, plain on its own. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in some Parmesan cheese and that's gonna add flavor to it. We are going to add just some regular breadcrumbs. Now I use these because my grandmother used these, so I love it, so. Okay, so that's going in and an egg. So I'm just gonna put an egg in here. And this is the basic way you make meatballs, guys. Um, we're gonna do some salt and some pepper. And now this is um, this is an Italian spice. This is um, this is our Michi's dash of love. And I actually make this. This is from all the herbs in my garden: the basil, the thyme, the rosemary, the oregano. Um, I we just I dry it, put it in the oven, dry it out, and then I put it in a coffee press, and it comes out like this. And then we just put the little label on, and it says Amici's dash of love. So I'm just gonna take this top off and put some of that in. So it's basically Italian seasoning. That's all it is to join you on the video. Okay, so hi Linda, how are you? I see so many people. Happy Thursday, Gina. Okay, I'm mixing this around. Just, we don't wanna mix it a lot because it'll get tough. The last ingredient we wanna add to this is basil. And if, you know where I got this from. I don't buy store-bought basil. Okay, and we're just gonna kinda give this, um, you know, just a little bit of a rough chop. And I found in, in these meatballs, when I made them yesterday, I had nothing to share today because my son and my husband ate them all. I came home last night from work and there was two meatballs left. I said, well, thank God they saved me too. But when you bite into these meatballs and you get that little burst here of, from the basil, they are absolutely delicious. So I don't want to chop it up too fine. Let me get that stem out of there. I think Pepe is so used to the smell of basil now that he doesn't even try to eat it anymore. He knows his mama uses it. Okay, and we're just gonna lightly mix this up. You know, you don't want to ever overwork meatballs because they all become tough. We just want to kind of get that ricotta cheese incorporated through it all. Alrighty here. What's the matter, Bubba? I am having um, an alarm system put in right now in the house. So um, you may hear a little bit of banging in the background and stuff. So hi guys, I just wanna say hello to everybody. Um, my eyesight is terrible. I can just see like some names coming up, but I'm really grateful for everybody watching and I hope everyone's having a super Thursday. Okay, that's it, we're mixed. How easy is this? All right, and then I get out my casserole dish. There's no need to um, grease it or oil it or anything like that. What we're gonna do is we're going to basically just put um, a little bit of your favorite sauce, cheese, in the bottom, and that's gonna cover, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna set our meatballs in. So you just wanna cover the bottom just like that. See, cover the bottom. And now we're just gonna take our, and make the meatballs. Now, however you make, like however big you want to make them, that's up to you. Let me see, Gina. Let's see. Do you ever use your hands to? Yes, I do. But I just, you know, I didn't today. I used a spatula. 
But these meatballs, you hardly have to even roll. The um, mix is so nice and soft. It just comes together high. I thought I saw my man Troy. Troy, where are you? Troy is our friend that comes into the restaurant on Thursdays. He's a truck driver from Dallas. And he brings us all these treats and we share good wine together and stuff. So, hi Troy. We're going to miss you tonight. He will not be in tonight. Okay, so we're going to keep making the, like I said, you can make these bite size if you want to. And that's going to give you a lot. Or you can make them um, like this size. This is size meatball I like. And this will fill up this, um, this casserole dish. Now, the one I have in the oven already, I made them a little bit smaller. No, Peppy, you can't go out right now. No, come back over here. He always wants to go out when I'm busy. He thinks he's got FOMO. Thinks he's missing out on something. See how the basil, you, like you can see the basil in it right here. So when you do bite into these, you get that really burst of the flavor of it. It's delicious. Okay, see how easy it is to roll meatballs? This, let me see, I made a lot this morning. And they can be touching, it doesn't matter. We're just, we're going to bake these in a 400 degree oven. Hi, Fran. How are you, Fran? Nice to see you. Okay, 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Now, I put a cover on them this morning when I first put them in. Um, and now I'm going to take it off in just a minute. They've been in for about uh, probably a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes already. They're almost ready to come out. And I tried to time it so that they would be perfect for you guys. All right, here we go. We have two more. And we did three, six, nine, 12, 15 meatballs out of here out of one pound of chicken. So you could, if you wanted to, you could um, just put this with uh, pasta, um, meatball hands, so I'm just gonna go over here. Um, you could put it with a side of pasta if you wanted to. Um, we're gonna put it with polenta because they're so light. If you wanted to just put them with a salad, that would be wonderful as well. Um, if you, you wanted to put them with uh, rice or risotto, you could do that. Okay, so we've got everything here. Now, here they are, all nice. That's the alarm. And now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more sauce on the top because these are like really lean chicken. Um, it, it can dry out kind of fast, you know, if you don't cover it up. That's why we're covering it when we cook it. The steam will help to keep them moist. All right, so we just put that on. And now I just have this fresh mozzarella. If you don't have fresh mozzarella, you can use the um, shredded, like the shredded one would go uh, really well. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee here. Mm. A little hint of cinnamon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the slices out of here. And I'm just going to cut them in half because they're kind of big. You can get the smaller slices. They have everything now. And you're basically just gonna put one on top of each meatball. And then, Peppy, you cannot have this. You can't have dairy. I know, how sad. Although I did give him ice cream the other day. And this worked out pretty good. Okay, so look at this, perfect. Each meatball has a little piece of fresh mozz on it. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna garnish it a little bit more with the Parmesan cheese, because you know you can never have enough cheese. Okay, so these go covered with foil now in a 400 degree oven, and then um, they cook for about 30 minutes with the top on, the last couple minutes with it off. And while those are in the oven, I'm gonna show you how to make polenta. So, for those of you, I'm gonna turn this up higher. For those of you that don't know what polenta is, Peppy, you have my rug all moved. Come on, Boba, move. Come on, Peppy, move. This is a polenta. This is a bag of polenta that we have at the restaurant. And um, polenta is fine cornmeal. Now, you got to move, Bubba. Peppy, move, honey. Okay, here. It is fine cornmeal. And it's actually known as like a poor man's dinner over there, but it's actually 
really, really good. Here, there you go. Okay, so the polenta, very fine, fine cornmeal. I'm actually just gonna take a little bit and try to show you guys, like, look how fine that is. Very, very good. And we're gonna mix it with water and a little cream and a little butter and Parmesan, and it's going to be delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna get my salt and my Parmesan, and I'm gonna show you guys. So I have my pot of water. So it's four and a half cups of water per one and a half cups of polenta. So I already have um, the water in here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put in one and a half cups of polenta. So this is my half cup measure and I'm gonna fill it up three times here. Now this is very, very uh, quick cooking. Polenta does not take long at all and you have to constantly um, whisk it around. So already it's getting thick. So if you guys like down here in the south, you guys like grits, and it's basically along those lines. I wish I could bring my cabin here and show you how quickly this is coming together. Um, it's already thickened up, and I'm just gonna bring it to a small boil here. So I'm gonna add, and there it goes. It is. The minute you stop, you know, stop uh, whisking it, it'll pop a little bit. I'm gonna add in some salt, and I'm going to put in um, a half of a stick of butter. This is unsalted butter, and I'm gonna whisk that around. Peppy, he's mad at me now. Okay, now to this, I'm gonna add to thin it out. See my butt, it's so hot already, like the butter is already melting. Oh, this, these are so delicious. I love polenta so much one of my favorite things. I'm gonna even turn it down to low now. And I'm going to add some heavy cream just to thin it out. I never said this was a dietetic dish. I did say, however, that it was delicious. And that is the truth. All right. So we have everything here. I'm gonna to try to thin it out just a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to take it completely off the flame. We're going to get this. And we're done already. So this is what the polenta looks like. It's one of my favorite, favorite things in the world, polenta. Um, I think I did a dish once when it had uh, shrimp on it. Shrimp with like tomatoes and stuff. So good. And I'm going to pull the first... Um, uh, thing of meatballs out of the oven and I'm going to show you how to put this together. So I'm going to get those out here. Watch out, Pat. He is right underneath this hot oven door. Alrighty. Are we ready to unveil? Woo, guys. Wow. There we go. Look, they're bubbling. It's melty, it's ooey, it's gooey. Oh, this is my kind of meal. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to put this together. We're going to take some of the polenta here and it'll just come right off your um, spoon. See that? Ooh. Okay, and then I'm going to take here a meatball and I'm gonna put it right on top of my polenta and a little bit of the sauce that's in there and I'm gonna drizzle it around here. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. These actually came out better than yesterday. And then just a little bit more Parmesan on the top. How good does that look? I guess I gotta tell you, I'm like seriously excited about this. Okay, first, first I'm gonna taste my polenta. Okay. I taste the butter. It's like very buttery and it's creamy from the heavy cream. So I highly suggest adding that in there. So then when you add the sauce that has that baked meatballs in it, it's even better. Mm, I'm okay, okay. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. But I want to show you the meatball. Okay, the meatball, look how nice and light it is. And remember I told you like this, the parts of the basil in there? They're just delicious. And I'm gonna put it with this. Look at this, look at this cheese pole. This cheese pole is amazing. The fresh mozzarella. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to go in. I'm going to burn my mouth. Mm. Please make this. This is such a delicious meal, guys. I like I always surprise myself because I put something together and then of course I taste a little bit and then my husband and my son are like, it's really good. But I'm telling you, you'll love this. If you don't want to eat it on the plant, to eat it with a salad or eat it with a side of spaghetti. But get out there, mm, make chicken parmesan meatballs. Your family will love you. This and my cup of coffee in the afternoon, but at night I need wine. So, all right, pep, say goodbye to everybody. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget, September is soups. We're going to make a whole bunch of different soups. I'm so excited. Lisa, I tune in. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> Just to see the cheese bowl. Best part. All right, guys. Have a great day.